Hi students, I want to talk to you today about our author visit coming up in January with author and illustrator Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale is the creator of the Hazardous Tales graphic novels, as well as some other books that we'll get to in just a moment. But I want to start by showing you a picture of Nathan Hale. It's this picture here on the left. This is him as an author and illustrator, but you may or may not know that Nathan Hale was also a famous person from history, a different person, not the person coming to visit our school. Um, the Nathan Hale from history was a spy during the American Revolution. And so Nathan Hale, the author, writes about Nathan Hale, the spy, in his books. So it's a little confusing, but once you know that it's really two different people, it makes a little more sense. Um, Nathan is the author and illustrator of some books that are not the hazardous tales. He has One Trick Pony and Apocalypse Taco, which are both science fiction graphic novels. And then he also is the illustrator of Calamity Jack and Rapunzel's Revenge, which are books written by Shannon and Dean Hale. They have the same last name, but they are not related. So that's another kind of strange thing um, that's a little confusing. Um, but Nathan is most known for his Hazardous Tales books. And I want to walk you through uh, just a few of those so that you can see what they look like and know what they're about. But this book, One Dead Spy, is book one. So it is kind of nice if you can read One Dead Spy or at least read the beginning of One Dead Spy before you read any of the other books because it sets up how all of the other books work. Uh, basically, in One Dead Spy... Nathan Hale, the spy, um, has been captured and he has been sentenced to die by hanging. And so he's sent to be executed um, by a man named the hangman. And he also has a witness there called the provost who is going to see him be killed. Uh, but when they get there, they realize that the provost has forgotten the orders to have the hanging. So he has to kind of run away, go get the orders and come back. While he's gone, though, something kind of crazy happens. Uh, there's this huge book of American history that swallows Nathan Hale up and then spits him back out. And what happens while he's swallowed up in the book is that he sees all of America's future. And so when he comes out, the hangman is very curious about what Nathan Hale has seen. So instead of killing him, he lets Nathan tell him, trick him into telling stories um, about history. And so this one, One Dead Spy, tells you the story of Nathan um, and how he was captured as a spy in the American Revolution. Um, this book, Big Bad Ironclad, is a story about the Civil War, the warships in the Civil War. And again, each story kind of starts out with Nathan Hale going to be killed, but he works his magic and ends up um, convincing the hangman to listen to one more story about America's history. In the Donner Dinner Party, this is one of the more gruesome books. This is a takes place during westward expansion, where a group of people um, kind of get in a bad situation where they are um, without food, and a lot of them start to die. And because they don't have food, they have to um, end up eating the people who have died. So it's a very gruesome book if you like that kind of thing. Um, this book, Trench Treaties, Trenches, Mud and Blood, takes place during World War I. The Underground Abductor is a book about Harriet Tubman, who was not Harriet Tubman to begin with. Her name was Araminta Ross. Um, and so this story kind of takes you through her um, journey into becoming the leader of the Underground Railroad. This is a book from Texas history, the Alamo, if you've ever heard of the Alamo. Um, this one is called Alamo All-Star, so it tells you about the Texas, the Mexican government, the Native Americans, and settlers from the United States in Texas. Rate of No Return takes place during World War II. It's the story of Pearl Harbor. Lafayette, if you're a fan of the musical Hamilton, this is a great book to read because it connects with those characters from history. And then Nathan's newest book is the one that he's coming to visit us for. It's called Major Impossible, and it's the story of John Wesley Powell. He is a one-armed geologist who explores the Grand Canyon, and um, there are a lot of people in his group of um, 
of explorers that also don't survive. So this one kind of has some adventure and some gruesome details as well. Um, so just to give you a little um, insight, you heard me talk about some people, but I want you to see what they look like. This is Nathan Hale. And again, he is the spy who is in each book who's telling the stories from American history because he's seen everything that happens. This is the hangman, and he's meant to be kind of the funny character of the story. He's not very smart. He's easily tricked, um, which allows him to be tricked into hearing all of these stories from history instead of doing his job of killing Nathan Hale. And then the provost is the very serious character who really wants to see Nathan Hale die, uh, but somehow um, the hangman keeps letting him tell these stories. Um, so I hope that you will try out some of Nathan Hale's books before he comes to visit and really start to notice how he puts um, his stories together. You'll probably notice that he uses one main color on his pages and the rest of his images are in black and white and gray. Um, each book focuses on one major event in United States history and is mostly truthful, but he does weave in uh, made up characters as well as some humorous parts that didn't really happen. Um, so that's why this is classified as historical fiction. It's not um, necessarily an entirely informational book, although you will learn a lot of information by reading these books. Um, if you can't get the books in the library because they're checked out, if you use Epic in your classroom to read, um, I have heard a lot of our fifth graders are reading Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales on Epic. So if you have an account, check it out on there and see which ones you can read. There are several of the Hazardous Tales on there. All right, so Nathan will be visiting us on January 14th, and I hope you will um, take some time to read his books. If you would like your own copy of Major Impossible, his new book, or you would like your own copy of some of the other books, you can order them with the order form coming home in your folder, and order must be turned in before we leave for winter break. And Nathan will, of course, sign all of the books that you purchase through Avid Bookshop on that order form.